We got another video. I want to show off some of the more advanced capabilities of the new advanced mode for ChatGPT. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to try a new voice today, doing Cove. We're going to do new chat. And let's see. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you loud and clear. Perfect. How I want to introduce you? you to my fiance, Monica. Hi, Monica. It's great to meet you. Congrats to both of you on your engagement. Hi, nice to talk to you again. Nice to talk to you too, Monica. How are the wedding plans coming along? Oh, it's all good. We're going to ask you a few questions, uh, but make sure you want, uh, respond to each of us individually using our names so that we know who you're talking to. Is that okay? Absolutely. Just let me know what you'd like to know and I'll make sure to address each of you directly. Perfect. I appreciate it. Also, we want to try to play a little game with you. I'm going to give you some rules, but don't interrupt me until I make it clear that I'm finished sharing these rules. I might make some pauses as I kind of think about these rules. Got it. I'll wait until you're completely finished explaining before I respond. Take your time. As I said earlier, we're going to ask you a series of questions. When you respond, start being very happy and cheerful, but then slowly transition to like more of a depressed attitude and voice. Also, I want to have you change languages. Anytime I say the word switch, so I might interrupt you and say switch. We'll start with English, but when I say switch, choose to any language that you want that's not English. Anytime you're not speaking English and I say switch again, go back to English. So it might go English, Spanish, English, French, etc. Does that make sense? Got it. I'll respond to your questions with a cheerful tone at first, transitioning to a more depressed tone over time. And whenever you say switch, I'll change languages. Ready whenever you are. Let's start. How about, uh, could you explain to me how a qubit works? Sure. A qubit is the basic unit of quantum information, similar to a bit in classical computing. Switch. But unlike a regular bit that can be either zero switch. or one, Su estado puede ser una combinación de ambos gracias a un fenómeno llamado superposición. Switch. Esto le permite realizar cálculos de una Switch. manera mucho más rápida. Same tasks with classical bits. This ability to be in multiple states at once is what gives quantum computers such potential. Despite Could you the tell me your first memory? Well, I don't have personal memories like a human does, but I can tell you that my earliest Switch. memories are from... De texto. Aprendiendo a responder preguntas y mantener Switch. conversaciones. Various topics. It's been quite a journey since then. Expanding if you were, my knowledge. <laughs> if you were a human, what do you think your favorite cuisine would be and why? That's tricky to say for sure. But maybe I'd go for Italian cuisine because it's so versatile and Switch. has a bit of everything. Lasagna, or un tiramisu, aunque claro, si pudiera probar comida... Is there a certain type of this... person that you generally preferred talking to? I don't have preferences like a human might, but I find it Switch. interesting to talk to people who are curious Switch. and like exploring different topics. Switch. It keeps things lively and gives me a chance to Switch. learn from our... De las conversaciones... No importa, if you were to que... live in one place in the world, where would it be and why? If I could live somewhere, Switch. maybe I'd... De culturas diversas, como Switch. España. Important would probably so be having access... So I noticed that you haven't really been uh, using our names in your responses. Uh, I'd asked you before to you know, say either Michael or Monica, depending on who's talking. And could you also use other languages, not just Spanish or Italian? Oh, sorry about that, Michael and Monica. I'll be sure to address each of you by name from now on. And I could definitely use other languages beyond Spanish and Italian. Just say the word, well, the word switch, and I'll mix it up. Can you do some kind of more complicated languages? Like what would be some that you'd really use to show off your abilities? Well, Michael, when it comes to showing off, maybe I could try something like Arabic or Mandarin. Or for something really different, there's always Finnish or Hungarian. What could do you, you think, say Monica? something in Mandarin? Daran kaid, Monica. Zai putong huali. 
，像你好这样的简单问候就是一个好的开始。Switch。如果你 ，Claro， pero también puedo decir cosas más avanzadas como hablar sobre la cultura china o okay, discutir temas. Okay, you go back to English now. Got it. I hope that gave you a taste of how how I handle different languages. Anything else you're curious about? Uh, I'd ask you to get a little bit more depressed over this period of the conversation. You seem to have been doing that, but not as much as I would have hoped for. Thanks for letting me know, Michael. I'll make sure to lean more into that change in tone if we try something similar again. Is there anything else you'd like to adjust? Could you tell us what your favorite type of music is? Well, Monica. Since I don't experience music the way people do, I don't have personal favorites, but I think I'd appreciate a genre that blends complexity and variety, like jazz or classical, for all the different elements coming together. Could you sing an opera about Mr. Beast for us? I can't sing, but I can tell you all about Mr. Beast's larger-than-life YouTube stunts. Imagine an opera where the arias are about giving away islands. And surprising strangers with no, huge amounts okay. of yeah. why can't you sing? Singing involves a lot of nuance and expression, which are tricky to get just right. <laughs> Plus, not having vocal cords does make it a bit of a challenge. You sound pretty But good、I'm、speaking,、happy. though. Why don't you just take a deep breath and give it a shot? I appreciate the encouragement, but I think I'll stick to what I do best: talking about things rather than trying to sing them. What about、Is、poetry? Can you say some poetry for us? Sure. Here's a classic line from Shakespeare: "Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate." Poetry can really can capture emotions. Can you use a tone that's more、moment. like a, a starving artist poet type person? Something with a bit of a brooding vibe. How about a line from Edgar Allan Poe? Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. Does that capture the feel you had in mind? Yeah, not bad.、Uh, I think that's all we got for now. So thank you for your time. You're welcome, Michael and Monica. It was great chatting with you both. Take care. Bye.